good everybody, it's your boy Naps, I'm back with another video. Today I'll be reacting to a video about ISRO, ISRO, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is the Space Agency of India. And the title of the video is, is India's ISRO the most successful space agency after NSA? I don't know about that, but from the title of the video I can say that it might be the next one to NSA. Let's check it out guys, let's see. This video is supported by Brilliant. Hey, welcome back, I'm Lai. On this channel, I've talked a lot about technology and business and space companies. I've talked about national agencies like NASA, ESA, and Roscosmos. NASA, I've also talked ESA. about private companies like SpaceX and Rocket Lab. One entity I don't know all of these except for NASA. Is ISRO, the Indian Space Research ISRO, Foundation. so that's Simply how. because it's NASA. really hard to Indian pigeonhole ISRO. ISRO. Yes, it is a traditional national agency, much like NASA of the United States, but it's also at the same time extremely cost conscious and result oriented, like a startup. Its launch price oh, is cool, as man. competitive as SpaceX. So let's talk about it today. Where does ISRO really fit in, and what makes it? so special. First of all, it is not fair to compare ISRO with other space agencies because ISRO has never you just did. the ambitions the of the video. or the funding <laughs> like other space agencies. NASA's okay. budget each year is $18 billion, $7 billion for European Crazy. space agency, $3 billion for the Chinese and the Russians. ISRO's budget each year is only $1.7 billion. Oh, uh, yeah. It. So this is not a fair comparison, right? Billion dollars cash reserve. Wow. Apple could have funded ISRO with cash for 167 years. That is how little ISRO spends every year, and that is why comparing ISRO with NASA wouldn't be fair. However, True. this is not to say that ISRO has not achieved extraordinary results. It has. Two of the most successful launches of ISRO is the PSLV C-37 in 2017 and the Mangoyan in 2013. PSLV C-37 until this day holds the record for launching the most satellites in a single rocket and Mangoyan successfully wow. helped ISRO to become the fourth country to orbit Mars, even before the Chinese. Wow! But none of these small achievements comes close to what ISRO has spent for both missions around this is so sick million dollars each this i think reflects the core philosophy of ISRO, wow. which is to be ambitious by the same time cost effective in the 1960s the soviet union and the united states competed fiercely in the space industry which eventually accelerated the collapse of the soviet union and now the chinese yeah, are catching up with the americans not to compete with NASA this time, but the Chinese are not going to be anyone else's left yeah. either. Therefore, NASA other space agencies compete to make the most of rockets in the world. I never seen any to other one. That. Just look at the evolution of its rocket launchers. They're all humbly named satellite launch vehicles. Different variations indicated by the first letter represent different orbit. PSLV for polar synchronous okay. orbit and GSLV for geosynchronous orbit. This is the first clue of how pragmatic But look at the evolution, the man. Is. It's getting more and more sophisticated. Design. If you take a closer look at ISRO's rocket evolution, it looks almost like SpaceX. The only difference is that ISRO has a more stable financial support from the Indian government and SpaceX had none. But in terms of the okay. approach to design launch vehicles, both organizations are very similar. SLV and ASLV was initiated in the 1980s, and ASLV's capability is similar to that of Falcon 1. The three versions of PSLVs have similar capabilities comparing to early versions of Falcon 9 and the GSLV. I can't understand any of these comparisons because I'm not into space programs. None Sorry, of them guys. Are classified as a super heavy lift launch vehicle like Falcon Heavy and Saturn V, but they're all super reliable and, most importantly, very cost effective. What's more impressive about the evolution of ISRO's launch vehicles is their adaptability. Take PSLV as an example. It has three versions PSLV CA, which stands for Core Alone, Standard PSLV, and PSLV XL. Well, all of them focus on polar synchronous orbit, which is around 600 kilometers altitude. Customers can choose which variations of vehicles to use based on the size of the satellite. Customers. This is the beauty of a cost-effective launcher. Furthermore, because of its focus on cost-effectiveness, 
ISRO also has to come up with brilliant engineering solutions to the problems it faces. One famous example is its experimental mission to Mars. On top of being the only yeah. successful Mars mission on the first try, ISRO had to perform six orbit raising maneuvers That's over three weeks before man. heading to Mars. Because the vehicle does not have enough power like the Falcon Heavy to send satellites directly to Mars, yeah, it's a it slowly trade. raises the satellite's orbit before injecting it successfully to a heliocentric orbit to Mars. The engineering and the problem solving behind it is truly amazing. This, yeah. I think, captures But I'm not surprised because you Indians, you have many smart people. As the founding father of ISRO, Vikram, used to say, there are some who question the relevance of space activities in the developing nation. To us, there is no ambiguity of purpose. We do not have the fantasy of competing with the economically advanced nations in the exploration of the moon or the planets or manned space flight. But we are convinced that if we are to play a meaningful role nationally and in the community of nations, we must be second to none in the applications of advanced technologies to the real problems of man and society. I think this is the key to understand what ISRO stands for and how it differs from other space agencies and companies. This is also why I said at the beginning, it is really hard to pigeonhole ISRO. It didn't have the fundings that NASA had, it didn't have the startup mindset and institution that SpaceX had, but none of this stopped ISRO from doing something extraordinary. This just come to show how important passion and dedication is for any organization. You know, talking about ISRO makes me really happy because it's clearly made out of people who are passionate, dedicated, and above all, an institution that encourages it. Looking forward into the future, I think ISRO will continue to do great things. It's setting out to perform its first manned mission in 2022. I'd say good luck to ISRO. Before yeah, I publish this video, luck, one of my viewers sent me this picture. Can you believe it? In the early days, engineers of ISRO had to send rocket parts with their bicycles to assemble them for testing. Wow, this is the because they have no they have money. To deal with every That's crazy. Day. They don't have a lot of resources. They have to drive. Is passion and dedication. Yeah, the passion, yeah. They only achieved what they did through hard work and a lot of practice. A good way to practice actively, though, is through Brilliant.org. Even though rocketry is complex, all it takes is for you to start small in order to achieve great things. ISRO knows at the very uh, yeah. beginning that if it were to build huge rockets like Saturn V, it won't work. It has to start with something manageable like the satellite launch vehicles in order to slowly become a giant it is now. In a similar way, Brilliant help you start small with interesting problems and examples so that you can master <laughs> concepts. This is very fun, smart, you know, to play yourselves. On top of that, it also gives you a good framework to enhance your understanding. To place the ad, that's very brilliant. But yeah, and the name of the ad is brilliant. Coincidence. But what I wanted to say about this video is I like ISRO because they're programming, there is no ambiguity in it, you know. They want just to play satellites, I don't know, maybe for communication, maybe for, for localization, maybe for, I don't know, there's a lot of difference, you know, maybe for, you know, for, to, to have some data about weather. Um, this is the difference between uh, ISRO, ISRO, and for example, NASA, you know, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that, I'm not accusing anybody, but I'm pretty sure that NASA, NASA, I don't know, I have a hard time to say, I will say it in French, la NASA. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, la NASA have many satellites in the orbit used just to spy on other countries. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, we heard about that. We heard about that. They used to spy on Russia, for example, from, you know, since the 60s and 70s. So... I guess this is the big difference between ISRO and NASA. I think that they have different uh, different goals. The founding is different, you know. ISRO don't have the same money um, NASA had. So yeah, I want to say to you, India and you Indian people, I really respect you because everything you do, you do it, you know, for the right reasons. You know what I'm saying? It's not because you know. For example, the, uh, the the launching of the satellites, you can put weapons in these rockets, right? I don't know. I don't know how it works, but you can put, you know, for example, nuclear weapons in that rocket. I don't know how all of this works, but 
I think that all these launch rockets, I think that you can make them, you can put them in the military, you know, like can launch, you know, rockets loaded with nuclear weapons. And if it is the case, please, my friends, please, my Indian friends, if you have some, if you have somebody in India who is really, really retarded, like, I don't know, Kim Jong-un or even Donald Trump, please keep him away from the, from the lunch bottom, you know, because it can be the end of everything. But I really respect India for doing all these things, you know. What I, what, what I respect the most is that they're doing it for the good reasons, you know. There is no evil in every field, you know, they, they, they try to progress and grow. And this is just, you know, this is brilliant, man. I love it. Anyway, guys, if you love the video, please subscribe and leave a like. I never said that before, but yeah, go ahead, man. <laughs> if, you, if you have any other suggestions, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you next time. Peace.